All right, so if you like the channel, if you get anything out of it that's good, you think somebody else might, I'd like to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I did get some shirts made of the fire turd. I figured I can't really afford merch, but I wanted to wear something that promoted the channel while I was working and while I was out doing things. And so these are new. I got like, I think I got 10 of them and then a couple of hoodies. So I don't know, maybe at some point in time, maybe I can get some merch. I don't know, but uh, I just made some shirts that I thought were kind of cool and we'll see how it goes. But I figured that'll promote the channel, maybe help things grow a little bit, at least let people know what I am and what I do a little bit something. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got today. It's kind of backwards. I'm recording this at the end when I've already done all the other stuff. But I just wanted some other content for the channel and some stuff. And it kind of gets boring doing the same old thing all the time, which is really nothing. So, anyways, like, subscribe, share. And let's get into the video. So it's been kind of wicked crazy hot and so I haven't really done much in the last couple of days. I went to the track in Pueblo, the track up in Denver. Um, I got a bunch of footage with Dane Thompson from Burn Down Channel with uh, the Malaboom and he was on a struggle bus in Pueblo and then up in Denver and so anyways it ended up being really cool footage I think for him so I gave him the memory card so I don't have the footage to edit and put up until I can get it back from him but if I don't it's not the end of the world but um, I got to get cracking on this motor here I uh, get the new set of pistons in it because I think I'm gonna put that that engine is gonna go in the Camaro that I'm going to build. Uh, I've been having issues with the ignition uh, lock cylinder on the fire turd. It doesn't want to work, so I'm probably going to have to replace that now. But uh, anyways, I was just coming down here. So I'm going to grab these two gas cans, which are going to end up being painted to match my brother-in-law's Jeep. And I figure if I fill them with E85, it will clean out the inside of them that I need to clean out from the, the inside of them to, uh, so that I can slosh them and seal them, make sure they're good and sealed. And uh, then I can clean up the outside of the cans so that I can prime them with paint and all that good stuff. So, yeah. anyhow, um, okay. Anyways, so I'm going to fill some cans with some E85 so that uh, I have some E85 to put into the fire turd so I can try and uh, start tuning the, the fire turd for E85 to get things going so I'm not afraid of burning a piston or something. And uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna start here pretty quick on that other Camaro, but I gotta. I'm gonna do some work in here. Get on that motor, clean that motor up, get the new pistons in that motor. Uh, I'll probably just gap the the rings for natural aspiration, um, and just run the motor naturally aspirated in that Camaro. And so when I sell it off, whoever. Whoever buys it can do whatever they want with it, but anyhow, it'll have manual transmission and a posse rear end and stuff. T tops would be nice, but anyways, yep, that's pretty much what's going on now. Looks like we might be about to get hit with some rain right now, and it's cooling off nice. I kind of went and did a thing today. Um, I must be watching too many 
too many episodes of Mountain's Garage or whatever because today I went up to Denver and I purchased this Turbo 400 that is uh, Buick Gold's Pontiac uh, bell housing and it's a six bolt pump I can remedy that though but um, yeah so I bought this Turbo 400 for a hundred bucks so I scored that you know it's a long tail shaft from a, a Buick or an Oldsmobile or something like a I don't know he was changing the motor out in it and stuff and this came on the used motor that he bought so yeah so I'm about to tear into this thing and check it out and uh, see what it looks like inside so so far all I've done is taken the tail shaft off and drain the fluid out into the bucket with the flex plate on it see that allows the tail shaft to sit through the center of the flex plate and is strong enough to hold it on the bucket so yeah I'm gonna open this thing up and uh, see what it looks like inside because it kind of looks like it's been rebuilt so it doesn't look like it's in bad shape at all and this is the torque converter that came with it and it looks practically brand new so I don't know it might be a score and then uh, I was thinking this one maybe what I can do is uh, use some pieces out of this one and uh, tear into the 4L80E back there in the corner and then get that 4L80E built up right so that uh, I have the 4L80E sitting waiting for something to happen and then this one I can I can practice cutting the bell housing off with this transmission for like ultra bell or something and uh, yeah so uh, you know I don't know I don't think it's a loss either way I got parts to sell and whatever else out of it but I should be able this I'm hoping that this one has the aluminum applied pistons in the forward and direct uh, drums or whatever they are in there and then that way I can use those aluminum pucks uh, ply pistons in the 4L ADE which is where I want them and uh, yeah so lots of stuff I, I did get the fire turret engine up on stand as you seen uh, just a few minutes ago or whatever when I showed the torque converter but it is on the stand I am going to start tearing it down so that I can get the new flat top pistons and rings in this motor you know get it gapped right but I, I still gotta I gotta clean up all this aluminum that's in here melted to the uh, cylinder wall so I don't know some people were saying use like muriatic acid and that will basically eat it off of the wall of the cylinder so I, I don't know uh, we'll see what because it's a it's pretty thick there and I don't think it'll hone out or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out and try to do what I can to get that aluminum off of the cylinder wall and uh, if I have to I guess I guess if I have to I'll take it down to the machine shop and just have them well, I can't really do that I can't oversize because those are standard size pistons eh. I'll figure something out anyways I'm gonna get to tearing this transmission apart
All right, so overall, not too bad. It's um, the case is in good shape. The case is actually tapped. It's drilled and tapped. It's got all eight bolts. So this is an eight bolt pump case, but it only had a six bolt pump in it. Looks like it was recently rebuilt um, because everything in it looks really good. It's got all the aluminum ply pistons and uh, yeah, they're right. You know, this drum doesn't have a check ball, but the the piston does. Or the, the piston has a check ball, but the drum doesn't. You know, both of them are correct. It has the kind of middle of the road um, sprag drum, the one with the notches in it, not the smooth back. So in order to put a 34 element sprag, I would have to replace the drum and the sprag. Um, but that's not horrible. Now the um, these intermediate clutches, they're all brand new. I mean, they look brand new. And then the other clutches are all, they're all Ray Bestus. I mean, they look new, except they're all burned to crap. So, like, the first one I saw was this, and I thought, holy crap, that thing is brand spanking new. Then as soon as you flip it, burned. And then the next one, burned. Burned. Burned, burned, and this one back here, the last one, is burned pretty stinking good. You know, you can see it on the wave plate, all the little heat spots. So, that one got burned, and then also on this one, it looks pretty decent, you know. And then you start going further back. And you start getting a little bit. I guess it doesn't look horrible. You can still read the Ray Bestus and stuff. So those ones don't look bad either. So that's, I think, intermediate. And this is the uh, forward drum, I think. This is forward. That's intermediate. So they look pretty good. And then this is the uh, high reverse or whatever. And they're burned. But there's only four, four clutches in that pack, so I don't know. Seems like I would have thought there would have been five or something, but you know, whatever. This one here I think has four. Yeah, that one's four. And then, so I mean, overall, not a bad transmission. It's got the long shaft. You know, um, I can change the tail shaft out to a short tail shaft and get a short tail shaft housing. Um, can probably go to the 8 bolt pump. And, you know, I, I could fix this one up into a good turbo 400, cut the bell housing off and put a, a ultra bell or something on it. And this would be a, a good turbo 400. So that's not bad. But the reason I got it is the guy the guy wanted 200 bucks for it, but I asked him maybe take 100 And he was like, yep. So when I talked to him when I got there, I guess I got a hold of him at the exact right time because his wife got home yesterday and was like, this stuff's got to go. And, and then I messaged him, would you take 100 And he's like, yep. So I guess that's beer money or whatever for him. So I, I do have the aluminum apply pistons. I've got a whole bunch of good parts in here. So, and, and the, uh, the low band is good. The one that sits all the way in the back of the case, that band, it's almost, it looks like it's brand new. See, look at this thing. It just looks brand new. And they say, just use the stock ones. So that one's good. You know, uh, I saw a guy on the marketplace. He had a 
Turbo 400 freshen up kit, whatever, with all the clutches. I think the clutches and steels or something. And all of the seals. And I think he wanted 60 bucks for it. I think I could get him down off of the 60 bucks. And uh, that might be worth it. Just to have this thing rebuilt and ready to go. I mean, I could put it all back together and everything for somebody who's got a Buick Olds or a Pontiac. And it would be a good transmission. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Not a bad score. I think the two pistons, I looked yesterday, two aluminum applied pistons are like $130 on eBay. So, I came out ahead just getting the aluminum applied pistons. I mean, they're not cut down for more clutches, like the six clutches uh, in the forward drum. But I got a buddy who has a, he's got access to a brake lathe, so I could actually probably turn it on a brake lathe and turn them down to fit the extra clutches. You know, um, it's not a bad deal. But the other thing is I can take these aluminum uh, apply pistons and I can use them in the 4L80E and then I have the upgrades that people want in the 4L80E for me when eventually I go to a 4L80 in a fire turd or something like that you know it's either that or I could turn around and sell the 4L80E as a built good high performance transmission so this to me was a good deal I'm gonna come out ahead on the game just because it's worth more in the parts even than it is as a transmission hole I think so not bad and I'm the other thing is I can learn a little more about turbo 400 so I mean I think I took my time I think it was like maybe an hour or something to tear it down and everything so anyways I'm gonna clean up I'm gonna go home do a little every day and you go a long way.